Hey guys, it's Lane and Blake. I am the co-founder of a small surveying company called Redefine Horizons here in Central California. And I am also a licensed land surveyor and a certified federal surveyor. And in this video, I'm gonna answer five questions about my upcoming test prep course that's gonna deal specifically with restoration of lost corners in the public land survey system. So here are the five questions we're gonna answer. How will this course help you if you're getting ready to take a surveyor exam? What do you need to know before you start? How does the course work? How do the exams in the course work? And why would you wanna take this course and not a different course that might be available? We'll, we'll talk about some of the things that I, I hope will make this course different. So how will this course help you? This course is going to teach you the principles of restoration of lost corners in the public land survey system. That is something that is frequently tested on uh, both the national surveyor exam and also on the state specific surveyor exam. And there may be principles of that that's tested on the, the LSIT. Um, I think we probably over test for that uh, given how things actually work in real life. But uh, the reality is uh, that's one of the things you have to know if you want to pass the the uh, licensed surveyor exams. It's just the, the it's just the reality. I know on my particular exam, state exam in California, I had a large chunk of the exam that was all about restoration of lost lost corners. So if you don't know that, uh, it's going to be it's going to be hard to pass the exams. So this exam, uh, this course is going to help you do that on your surveyor exams, either the national or your state specific. Uh, we're going to prepare you to answer questions about corner restoration. And then part of the part of the course is going to test that knowledge, right? So we're going to teach you the principles and uh, then we're going to look at some examples and then we're going to test that knowledge in, a, in an environment that's very much like the test. So we're going to have some sample exams that talk about that um, in a different uh, in a different uh, section of the video. Uh, but we're, we're actually going to try and get you some practice on testing that knowledge in an exam setting. So what do you need to know before you start the course? Uh, you do need to know some things to really benefit from the course. So this is not a course for beginners. So you need to know a little bit about the public land survey system. You need to have a, a, a basic understanding of what it is, what it does, and you know, being familiar with the order of survey in the public land survey system and the different elements of the system, the different parts will be helpful. So some knowledge of the public land survey system is helpful, you know, you need to know uh, trigonometry, algebra, be able to do some basic coordinate geometry to make it through the course. Okay, so how does the course work? Uh, the course is divided into modules. There's several modules. Uh, each module has a uh, video instruction. Um, so I will be teaching you what you need to know about corner restoration. I think we're gonna try and also make that available um, in audio format. So for those of you that, that commute, you'll be able to listen to that um, in a podcast format, like a downloadable MP3. Uh, but for most of you, it'll be a, it'll be a video, uh, basically a video lecture. Then um, each module should have some type of memory aid or cheat sheet or handout, uh, might be a, a diagram that'll help you quickly remember the information that was covered in the module. You'll be able to download that PDF. It should be full color, I hope. Um, and then we're going to have, um, at the end of each module, we'll have a handful, somewhere between five to ten, example exam questions that we will work um, in a video. I will work those um, with you. We'll go through the questions and the answers for each module. And then uh, we're also going to have, at the end of the course, there will be several sample exams. Some of those we will cover in class. We'll work through them in class, and then some of them uh, you are going to uh, be able to take home and work the, work the exams at home on your own time. All right, next question, how do the exams work? So I've got three types of exams in the course. There will be a total of six exams at the end of the course. You don't have to take them all, but they're gonna be there for you. So there's three types of exam. There's what I call the basic concepts exam. That's just a simple multiple choice exam that's gonna see if you understand the concepts that you've been taught. Uh, you can kind of think of that as an LSIT level exam, maybe the national exam, somewhere somewhere in between LSIT and national exam, but just simple, um, you know, ABCD multiple choice questions uh, to see if you understand the concepts. 
Uh, the second exam type is uh, what I call multiple choice application. So that's typically where I give you some kind of what they call a problem stem. So it's an exhibit or a narrative. And then based on the information in that exhibit or narrative, you have to go in and answer a set of questions. Again, multiple choice, but a little, a little more difficult. We're trying to see if you can apply principles to an actual uh, hypothetical survey situation. And then the third, ter third type of exam is what I call short form. So that's not multiple choice. That's where you have to give a short form answer or um, an essay type of answer. Um, it's what the, what's the California state specific exam used to be. We used to have essay format. Um, and again, in most cases there, you're going to have an exhibit or a set of exhibits that you're going to need to answer questions from. Um, so that is testing your knowledge at a little higher level. Um, and that, that's really getting you set up for, um, for state specific exams. Now, I don't know how many states still use that format of exam um, in the United States, but um, I think it's important to have that in there. Uh, if you can pass my short form essay type um, exam, you ought to be able to go in and smoke a multiple choice uh, exam. So it's, it's good, good practice. So those are the three types of exams. And for each of those types, we're gonna, we're gonna have an in-class, a video where I work through each question for you in class, and then we're gonna have a take home. Okay, so there will be, there's actually gonna be uh, four take home exams. Okay, so there'll be one multiple choice basic concept exam to take home, one multiple choice application exam to take home, and then there's actually gonna be two advanced exams. Uh, one will just be uh, kind of covering the general principles and, and concepts, and then there's gonna be one that focuses specifically on single proportion, double, double proportion calculations, because I know people have a hard time with that. So we'll do an exam that's, that's focused on that. Um, now, the take-home exams um, are a little bit different from the in-class exams. So what we'll do on the take-home exam is you'll take those home. There'll be a fillable PDF answer sheet. You can return that to me, and I am going to personally grade those exams. Yours truly. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to delegate that. So I'll personally grade each of the exams that are returned. And then uh, we'll give you um, a score. We'll let you know your, your right and wrong answers. And then in addition to that, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and give you as best we can and an analysis of, of where you were strong and where you were weak based on the take home exam. So we may be able to help you go back and kind of focus on the material that you need to based on how you do on the exam. So we're gonna try and do that. So I think that's really valuable and I, and I hope that's something that people take advantage of. So why take this course? Um, you know, there's, there are other test prep, LS test prep uh, resources out there. There's, there's other courses. Um, I know Tony Nettleman has a good course. Uh, if you're here in California, uh, we have uh, Mike Durkee teaches a great subdivision map back course. Um, I'm sure there are other other courses that I don't know about. Um, so why take why take this particular course? So I'm going to give you uh, four reasons why uh, you may want to take this course, and this this might not be for everybody. Um, so if if you listen to this section and you think that's not what I need. It's okay, you don't hurt my feelings. You know, I want, I want the people that take this course, I want them to take it because it, they think it's gonna get them what they need. So um, I'm trying to do something a little bit different, something you know that's different from what other people are doing. So uh, the first thing is, uh, I'm just covering one topic, PLSS corner restoration methods. Uh, we're gonna go deep on that. We're gonna, we're, it's deep coverage. So one topic, deep coverage. And what I hope that allows you to do is, is take, take courses on only what you need. So a lot, a lot of the other uh, test prep courses that are available for LS, it's, it's kind of a package deal and it's, it's, you take a lot, there's a lot of different information on different subjects, not as deep. That's okay, that, you need that too. Uh, you might need that because the, the LS exams are very broad. They cover a wide range of information. Uh, but let's say you've been through one of those courses. So maybe you've gone through Mr. Nettleman's course and uh, you've got a good, broad coverage on a lot of different topics, but you think, man, you know, corner restoration, I just struggled with that. I, I really need a deep dive on that. Then this might be the course for you. So one topic, deep coverage. Um, I'm not gonna spend any time in the course telling you how smart I am. Um, this is hard stuff. I'm not gonna pretend that it isn't hard. Um, I'm not gonna pretend that I have all the answers. Um, you know, I can tell you when I took my CFEDs, it was really tough. It was one of the hardest things I've done in my career. Um, and I got my butt kicked on some of it. <laughs> so I'm not going to pretend like I'm just a genius and you're stupid if you don't understand this. That's not true. It's hard. Um, 
And, and I'm, you know, when I do this stuff in real life, um, I'm careful and I ask for help. You know, I call my peers, I call other surveyors, I crack open the BLM manual. Um, I read articles on the internet to try and make sure that I'm doing it uh, the right way. Uh, the other thing is I'm going to show you all the steps. So when we're working problems together, uh, I'm not going to skip steps. I'm going to show you all the math, like down to the addition and the subtraction. Um, you know, one of the things that I struggled with early in my career was math wasn't my strongest, strongest skill, especially when I first entered college. And I found that the people that would teach me would oftentimes gloss over or skip steps when working a problem. And, and that made it difficult for me. So I'm going to make a real sincere effort not to do that. I'm going to show you every single step in the problem. So if you're a really smart person and you don't need that, you might get a little frustrated. Maybe this isn't the course for you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and teach with a sense of humor. You know, I try not to take myself too seriously. This is pretty dry material. Doesn't mean it's not important. It is important, but it's pretty dry material. And so we'll, we'll try and keep it light, have a good sense of humor and, and try and make it as, as least miserable as we possibly can. But you know, it's hard stuff. It's dry material, it's tough, but you have to learn it if you wanna pass the LS exams. So uh, we'll try and get through it together. So uh, I hope that gives you an idea of what's in the course, uh, the answers to those, those handful of questions. I'm gonna do one other short video where I talk about what is actually in the course, the, the modules that are in the course, and talk a little bit about how the tickets work. Um, so if you have questions, feel free, feel free to reach out to me, landon.blake at redefinehorizons.com, and, uh, and I will try and answer questions you have about the class. And if you need help with public land survey system, restoration of corners, I hope, uh, I hope I get to see you uh, when we do the actual class.